Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we are specifically going to talk about um, the intersection between Dungeons and Dragons, um, SMEs, subject matter experts, uh, Magic the Gather, uh, Lord of the Rings SMEs, Lord of the Rings subject matter experts, and Yu Gi Oh SMEs, subject matter experts, all right? Um, and what they all have in common, all right? So I'm going to repre- I'm going to present a new word today. I I, re- I love language, and I think it's important for dungeon masters to present the world with new language because a lot of the language we have is antiquated and cruel, right? So let's talk today about geeks, all right? So first of all, there's a difference between nerd and a geek, um, and I'm not going to get into that in this video, uh, but just be aware. I I fully understand the difference between the word nerd and geek. But currently, uh, and, ma- and many people who use both terms, oh, you nerd or you geek, they're used as pejoratives, and I think that's that's really bad, and we need to change that. So today is, I'm going to try to change that. I'm going to explain to you why I'm concerned with these with the terminology that we use for these groups. All right, so, so let's dig in, all right? So first of all, um, the reason we're talking about this is right now we have this really special thing that's happening with um, magic, the, with 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 a, an official connection between Dungeons and Dragons and Lord of the Rings. Okay, they're not canon connected yet, but they are officially connected. Dungeons and Dragons is canon to uh, Magic Gathering is canon to to D and um, Lord of the Rings is in Magic Gathering, so there so D and D and Lord of the Rings are officially connected now. But but Lord of the Rings is not canon to D and D yet. Okay, now. The reason why I'm concerned with this is this is pre-release weekend, right? So, uh, so pre-release weekend, I went out and I bought Magic the Gathering, Lord of the Rings, um, Tales of the Middle Earth. Uh, I bought as many cards as I could because, to me, these are simply Dungeons and Dragons. You know, the the entire set: Magic the Gathering, Lord of the Rings, um, Tales of Middle Earth. It's just an unbound Dungeons and Dragons book that has it. It's an unbound future Dungeons and Dragons book, right? So I believe that Lord of the Rings will be added into D&D canon because of this set. I think this set is going to sell more than any Magic the Gathering set that has ever sold ever, right? I think it's going to, it's blasting off the shelves. I know that because I was literally watching it this weekend as I got my bundle, right? And I got my pre-release set and, um, and I current, and I also have on the way, I have the two deck uh, starter set. So I've, I've bought into this, right? And I'm buying these because, in my opinion, this entire set is simply an unbound future Dungeons & Dragons book, right? Uh, Hasbro has shown that they introduce a set, and then there's a high probability that that set will come in uh, will come in officially as D&D canon later, right? And Lord of the Rings, this, this looks like a no-brainer. Like, they literally use Dungeons & Dragons on the cards as they build it out, right? It's, it's, you know, to me, this is a no-brainer. It's officially connected. Lord of the Rings and Dungeons and & Dragons are officially connected at this point. I think they will be canon-connected in the near future, probably within two to four years, right? Um, yeah, I think we'll have a canon Lord of the Rings red ampersand on the side book uh, within two to four years. And I'm excited about that. I think it'll be really, really exciting, right? But right now, you know, the um, I'm, I'm buying these up to use them as D&D components, right? So I went to get my bundle at my FLGS, right? Well, I walk into the FLGS, and I'm expecting, I'm actually hoping to see, and the, the pre-release, they're between the pre-release. Actually, their pre-release is at 6 p.m. that night um, at the FLGS, right? And I had pray, and, and so I'm coming in, and it's around 4 p.m., and the whole place is filled with Yu-Gi-Oh! players, Right? And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot these guys. Hey, you know, they own... And in my FLGS, in one of my local L- uh, FLGSs, the the, um, the the Yu-Gi-Oh! players own Saturdays. They they literally own the entire day, right? And and the FLGS, and, like, you, you can't squeeze in because F- these Yu-Gi-Oh! players are jammed. They're jammed from corner to corner in this place playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, right? So I come in, and I'm grabbing my Magic Gathering Lord of the Rings... Uh, Tales of Middle Earth, comp- which I'm using as D and D components, and these guys are all playing, you know, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons, right, and uh, Dark Wizard, and you know, and and Yu Gi Oh himself cards, right, and it's really interesting. And I was thinking, you know, 
oh, it's good to see these people. And at first I was like, you know what? Like, I wish this place was filled with Magic the Gathering players because they're not the because they're linked to Dungeons and Dragons. But then I realized we're all pretty much the same. And how are we linked? So we are all quant lores. You want to know how to spell that? It's in the title. Quant lore, okay? So what is a quant lore? So first of all, what is a quant, okay? Uh, Q-U-A-N-T, and then, and then no space, it's all one word, L-O-R-E, quant lore, okay? It is the word quant and the word lore put together, right? And to form a new word, which I have coined, coined called a quant lore, right? What is a quant lore? So first of all, what is a quant? A quant is a term in finance for someone who works the numbers and deals with the number aspects of products and platforms and services, right? Quants are high, are in high demand. They're all incredibly good, like ridiculously good at specifically, uh, they're good at math, right? And what they do is they handle extremely complicated um, transactional formulas for companies that are in deep finance, right? They are experts in math and they're experts in formulas and they're experts in financial mechanisms, right? Quants, right? Uh, very valuable high in demand people, right? Now, what is a geek? In, in my opinion, the term geek should be retired. It's not useful, it is pejorative, and I think it's cruel, right? So I think it should be should be replaced with quant lore, okay? Q U A N T L O R E, just like it says in the title, right? And the quant lore is someone who specifically, right? Uh, a quant lore is someone who who intakes the lore of an intellectual property, the lore of Lord of the Rings, the lore of Dungeons and Dragons, the lore of Yu-Gi-Oh and is a subject matter expert with high expertise in, in dealing with the mechanisms of that lore, the trappings of that lore, and the formulas of that lore. Yes, there are narrative formulas, right? And so basically, a quant lore is someone who is a subject matter expert, has expertise in using the mechanisms of lore, the detail is highly invested in the details of lore, and can do things with lore, a quant lore. And we are bound, the Lord of the Rings community, we are bound, the Dungeons Dragons community, we are bound, the Yu-Gi-Oh community together, and many other intellectual properties have quant lores. So rather than referring them as geeks, we should refer to them as quant lores, and realize that we are all the same, and we are one people. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.